C I E D N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 4 titled Math Magic Book 4 Textbook in Mathematics for class 4 Chapter 12 titled How Heavy How Light Part 1 Now let's listen to chapter 12 Page number 133 Jeju and Manu were shifting house they loaded all their things on a horse cart there were many things like a water tank five sacks of wheat three tables an almira four chairs two mattresses three sacks of rice a bamboo ladder pots and pans when they were ready to move the horse refused to start they wondered why their father said that this horse was not well and would not pull a load heavier than 700 kg oh but how heavy is this load they asked here on page number 133 there is a picture given in this picture a horse is standing tied to a horse cart There are several things loaded on that cart. The cart is heavy. Page number one hundred and thirty-four. Father gave them some idea of the weight of each thing. There is a table given here on page number one hundred and thirty-four, divided into two columns: thing loaded and its weight. A sack of wheat has the weight of. 100 kg a sack of rice contains 35 kg weight a water tank is of 50 kg almira is of 70 kg a table weighs 10 kg a chair contains 5 kg a mattress is of 20 kg bamboo ladder is of 10 kg pots and pans weigh 10 kg Find out the total weight they had loaded on the cart. Now they decided to remove a few things from the cart. Which things should be removed so that the weight of the load is not more than seven hundred kgs? Here is a blank space given to write your answer. The things which were loaded on the cart were big in size and also very heavy. to measure the weight of such heavy and big things we need a big balance but jaju and mannu wanted to make their own balance they collected a few things a stick two lids and a thick thread they made this balance on page number 134 there is a picture of a balance given on one side of the balance there is a mattress kept and on the other side some small weights have been put now you also make your own balance write down how you made it also draw a picture of your balance in the box given here page number 135 activity Manu and Jaju put a pencil and a geometry box in the two pans of the balance. Which pan will go down, and why? Draw a picture to describe it. There is a diagram given here of Manu and Jaju, along with a diagram of a pencil and a geometry box. There is also a blank box given here to draw a picture. What is heavier? Make pairs of different things and use the balance to decide which is heavier. First guess which thing will take the pan down and then check with your balance. What is the heaviest? Make groups of 3 things, for example, eraser, ball and paper. Use the balance to arrange them in order of weight. The lightest, the one with in between weight. the heaviest complete the table with at least 5 examples there is a table given here on page number 135 
This table has been divided into three parts. The lightest, in between weight and the heaviest. You have to take any three things and write which of these things is the lightest, is of in between weight or is the heaviest. One example has been written in the table for you. Amongst a paper, an eraser and a ball, the paper is the lightest. An eraser has an in-between weight and the ball is the heaviest. Collect any three things and complete the table. Can you find your own weight using this balance? The balance children make will not be very accurate but will be good enough to compare weights which are different from each other. Page number 136 Making weights Do this activity in pairs. You need a balance, weights, a cake of soap, plastic packets, sand and rubber bands. You can also take help of an older person. Get a new cake of soap. The packet will have the weight written on it. You can use this soap to make your own different weights. The soap weighs dash grams. Take a small plastic packet. Put it in one pan of the balance. Put the soap in the other pan. Slowly add sand to the packet till the pans are balanced. Close the packet with a rubber band or string. Now, stick a strip of paper and write dash gram on it. There is a diagram given here on page number 136 of a balance which has been made using lids, a thread and sticks. The activity you are hearing has been described through this diagram. On one pan of the balance, a small plastic packet has been kept. On the other pan, a cake of soap has been kept. If you put the soap and the weight you just made together in a pan, how many grams will both these weigh? Dash. Now, make different weights. 150 grams, 200 grams and 250 grams. You can use soaps of different weights for this. Also make some bigger weights of 500 gram, 1000 gram and 750 gram. Use your weights to weigh different things and write in your notebook. Page number 137 Practice time Which pan of the balance will go down? Check by drawing an arrow. Here on page number 137, there are six balances given, each having different weight written in numbers on their two pans. You have to tell which pan of the balance will go down by drawing an arrow. One example has been done for you. Like, the weight given on the left pan is 25 gram and 40 grams and in the right hand side pan is 35 gram and 40 grams. So, 35 plus 40 grams are 75 grams, whereas 40 and 25 grams are 65 grams. So, 75 gram in the right pan is heavier. This has been marked with the help of an arrow. You have to follow the same pattern for the rest of the balances. Weight given on the second balance is on the left hand pan, the weights given are 75 grams and 75 grams, whereas the weights given on the right hand pan are 35 grams and 140 grams. In the third balance, on the left side pan, weights given are 105 gram and 200 grams. On the right side pan, Weights given are 150 gram and 250 grams. In the fourth balance, the weights given on the left hand side pan are 55 grams, 245 grams and 700 grams. The weights given on the right hand pan are 
254 grams and 600 grams. The weights given on fifth balance are on the left hand pan 20 gram and 196 grams and on the right side pan 197 gram. The weights given in the sixth balance are on the left hand side the weights are 36 grams and 75 grams. On the right hand side pan the weights given are 63 grams and 100 grams. Is the weight on any of the pans equal to 1 kilogram? Mark it. How many grams are there in 1 kg? Page number 138. Grams and kilograms. Name 5 things that we usually buy. There are 2 tables given here on page number 138. In these tables, the first table amongst these two has the title in grams. Five blank spaces have been given in this table. You have to name five things that we usually buy and their weights in grams. In the second table, it is written in kilograms. You have to name five things here and write their names along with their weights. There is a diagram of a sack of wheat flour given here along with a diagram of a saucer and pans. You were just listening to chapter number 12 titled How Heavy, How Light Part 1 Voiceover Artists Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav Sound Recordists Butelang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan Assistance in Production by Shanu Muksim and Amit Kumar Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India